Hello guys and welcome back to TNT Madness. Today we are going to be looking at a semi-automatic vertical TNT cannon. So what this is great for is if you find a base that someone has or you just want to do some griefing or something and they, you can't get up there somehow. This is what this comes in great for. It can shoot up like 50 blocks, sometimes it can go off the side but that can be good sort of if you're firing this repeatedly because it can get in different spots. So this is just great for that. So if we press the button here we can see that two layers of TNT get fired in, and then TNT gets up there, and then it'll get shot up like that. And it'll blow up way up in there. So, now, let's get on with the tutorial. Okay guys, so to start this tutorial off, you're going to need a 5x5 five five area, as well as a 1x2 input area somewhere on the middle on the side. So, you're going to need some building blocks, 17 redstone, 3 redstone repeaters, a redstone torch, a water source block, 25 dispensers, this is quite expensive as well, a stone slab, and a button. Okay guys, so the first thing you want to do is find the middle, and then you want to place dispensers three blocks away from you in rows of freeze like this, and then you want to make a second layer on top of those previous dispensers like this. Then you want to come to the middle here and decide which side is going to be your input. Then you want to destroy, the if you have a block, then destroy that block. And make sure there is a solid block under it. And then find where your input is. So our input is going to be here. So you want to destroy this block here and place it. And put a redstone torch there. Then after you've done that, you can just place your dispenser on top with a slab on top of that. Then you can put your water around it like this. You can use one water source block. Or you can use, use more than that if you want it to look neat. And then you can go over to the side here and place a block here, here, a block on every side of the dispenser. You only have to do it on the top layer. And then fill all, put redstone on top of all of the dispensers like so. And then after you've done that, you've pretty much got the main mechanism done, apart from the 1010 side and the input. So what you want to do now is find where your input is going to be, which is going to be this little area here. So you want to place a block here and a block like this. Then come down here place a block here and destroy this block here and this block here and place a block here. After you've done that you want to place your button then you can place a redstone repeater here and then a piece of redstone here and if you are using a wooden button you only have to place one repeater set it to four ticks to lay here and then a piece of redstone but if you're using stone you need two redstone repeaters set to four ticks like that. After you've done that all you have to do is fill it up with TNT and you are done. So once you have filled up all your dispensers with TNT, you can then push the button and you should be all ready to go. So hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you'd like to see more, then just hit that subscribe button. You'll be notified every week when a new video comes out. And if you want me to motivate me and make me feel good, then please hit that like button. It always helps. I really appreciate it. And if you have any comments or feedbacks, ask me in the comments below, or you can send me a message on Facebook. I answer every single comment, so don't be afraid. So anyway, goodbye from TNT Madness, and I'll see you next week.